Temperature, generally speaking, is a measurement of a material's average internal kinetic energy at a given moment. Essentially, particles are always jiggling around, and the faster they collectively do so, the higher the temperature. It naturally follows that if these particles were to be completely stationary, we would have a minimum temperature, or what we call absolute zero. While this point can never be achieved, as any substance being cooled will asymptotically approach the temperature of its cooling agent, what would happen if we were to continually add energy instead? At 0.01 degrees, we have the triple point of water, where it can exist as a gas, liquid, or a solid. At 20 to 25, we have typical room temperature, and then at very slightly under 100 degrees, we have the boiling point of water. Increasing this to 600 degrees, we have the temperature of a typical small wood fire, and then just a bit hotter than that, we have Natalie Dormer, or in the scientific community, 1ND, or dorm. At around 10 dorms, we have the temperature of the Earth's core, which is quite similar to the surface of the sun, and then around 24 kilodorms, we have the center of the sun. Eventually, at an absolutely insane 9 gigadorms, we have the highest measured laboratory temperature, which was achieved in 2012 at CERN laboratories where researchers used the Large Hadron Collider to reheat a frozen hot pocket. This maximum temperature is known as HPP, or the hot pocket potential, and has since become a mainstay in thermodynamic studies of high energy systems. At an incredible 180 tera HPP, we have the temperature of the universe when it was 10 to the negative 35 seconds old. Imagine all the matter in the entire universe contained in a nearly infinitesimally small space and the absolutely absurd levels of energy that were present. Finally, at 260 quintillion HPPs, or just under 142 nonillion degrees, we have the postulated absolute hot, or Planck's temperature. This is the point at which gravitational forces between particles would be as strong as other fundamental forces and proves to be a barrier to our current model of physics. Uh, there is one more temperature, which is unofficially named P plus 1, which is Planck plus 1, or a single degree above absolute hot. It's actually a field of study for me, and I coined this temperature as MNMT, which stands for Maximal Nuclear Measurement Temperature. But the acronym proved difficult to publish, so I eventually shortened it to simply My New Mixtape. <laughs>